I came to Stone's Throw because I was searching for a church that pursued Jesus first. I came to Stone's Throw because I was seeking Jesus and a church that was proclaiming his truth. I came to Stone's Throw because it was an opportunity to uh, plant a new church in Middletown and uh, reach this area with the gospel. I came to Stone's Throw because I'm part of the church plant that came out of Glasgow Church. I came here because I wanted to make a difference. We came to Stone Throw because Pastor Dan invited us one day at the Peach Festival, our second day here in Delaware. I came to Stone's Throw because of my friendships and all of my friends were here. I came to Stone's Throw because it's very close to my home and I also grew up in Pastor Better's church and I wanted to come with Dan. I came to Stone's Throw because I was looking for hope and I seen the band on the corner and I thought of a church that a church band that could play secular music might have something more than just legalistic rules. I came to Stone's Throw because I came from a church that really encouraged um, cultural Christianity and knowing him up here but not in here. I came to Stone's Throw because a friend of mine knew that I was looking for a church that gave me more of what I needed. I came to Stone's Throw to, uh, to help share the gospel in uh, Middletown. I came to Stone's Throw because um, a large portion of my friends were coming down and I was ready to turn the page from where I was at. I came to Stone's Throw because my family was coming here. I came to Stone's Throw because I was broken. My body was broken, my mind was broken, and most of all, I was spiritually broken. I came to Stone's Throw because my brother forced me to. Um, I'd like to go ahead and open up the business portion uh, of our um, meeting here this morning. And if you are a member, um, you are permitted to vote, and anybody is permitted to, to speak, if you're a regular attender or if you're a member. Um, for those of you who are guests with us, um, we are uh, basically voting this morning on whether or not to purchase a piece of land and move forward with a building project. So on November 11, 2012, Stones Throw Church voted and approved to purchase this land that I'm standing on and to begin the process of constructing a new church building in the town limits of Middletown. This was another big and crucial step towards realizing the dream and the vision that we had put in place in 2009. So as soon as we completed the land purchase in the summer of 2013, we continued with our plans to design a building that would help us to meet our needs and also help us to meet the needs of our community as we preach Jesus in this community. So in the late spring of 2013, the building team decided to hire Clark Design Group with the approval from the elders and we began to design our building. Uh, we met with other churches in the area that were like-minded in mission uh, with their staff and their pastors and their construction teams to find out what it is that they would do different about their buildings and what they liked about their buildings. We wanted a building where you, the congregation of Stones Throw Church, would want to worship and feel like you're worshiping and there would be a sense of worship when you entered into the building. But at the same time, since we're a church that is trying to reach people who are far from God, we wanted to create a building that spoke to our mission, uh, where people who haven't been to church in a long time or who have never been to church would feel comfortable coming into this building. So after several years of dreaming and months of planning, the elders of Stones Throw Church and the building team would like to present to you, the congregation of Stones Throw Church, our building concept. So the building concept is just over 26,000 square feet, and we've positioned the building in such a way that anyone approaching the church or the shopping district from Commerce Drive will be able to have a direct view of the main entrance of the building. So when you're going to the movies and you're leaving the movies, you'll see Stones Throw Church. The building features two main entrances. The entrance in the front is the most obvious choice for anyone who is visiting Stones Throw for the first time. And we wanted to make that obvious so that the people that we're trying to reach would feel at home and that Stones Throw Church might feel a bit familiar to them even as they entered into the parking lot. We've also included a secondary entrance behind the church over to the side that leads directly into our kids' church area and nursery areas. The reason for this is so that members and regular attenders who are familiar with Stones Throw Church 
could just enter from there in order to drop off their kids and prepare for worship on a Sunday morning. You'll also notice in this design a lot of stone and steel and glass. This design is inspired by the rustic roots of Middletown, along with the industrial roots of the early 20th century. We wanted to design a building that would hold up stylistically over time. Once inside the building, you will be welcomed by a large gathering space that features a lot of natural light, exposed steel support beams, high ceilings, and easy access via a main street to the entire building. From the main street, you can access the staff offices, bathrooms, a coffee area, a large gathering hall, classrooms, and meeting rooms, as well as the kids' church area. Additionally, the worship space is directly accessible from the main street gathering area. The main entrance will feature natural light, plenty of space to meet and greet one another and hang out, and also our connect table, which will be full of information and help for the first time guests. As we preach from the pulpit, you know that kids are incredibly important to Stone's Throw Church. They remind us that we have a future as a church. And so we wanted to create a space that is safe, secure, and fun and inviting for our kids and for their parents. We also wanted this space to be familiar to those who haven't been to the church before. To that end, our kids' facilities will feature a large theater space for kids' church. We envision this space being used for games, activities, teaching, skits, and music as we teach our kids about Jesus. Our nurseries will feature an open floor plan that is similar to most preschools and daycares. This open floor plan allows for higher accountability for volunteers and helps to provide more security for our children's staff. The nursery will also feature a sleeping baby's room. The entire kids section is only accessible after check-in and check-out procedures have been completed. To that end, we've created a large space for parents to check in with their children as quickly and conveniently as possible. We fully anticipate that our kids' facilities will need to grow as the church grows, and so we've included possible expansion plans to increase the space available to us for Stones Throw Kids. The sanctuary features over 770 seats large stage, state-of-the-art sound and lighting, stadium seating in the back of the room, a rehearsal room for musicians behind the sanctuary, and a nursing mother's privacy room. As we were creating the sanctuary space, we wanted to keep a couple things in mind. We wanted to create a space that is conducive to congregational worship and participation. And so to that end, we arranged the room in such a way that every seat will seem close to the stage. Additionally, we wanted the room to be conducive for high-end video production and audio production. Finally, as we were creating this space, we wanted to keep in mind that some of life's biggest events will take place in the sanctuary. Some of our children will probably end up being married in this very room. And so we designed a space that would be easily transformed into a beautiful area for wedding ceremonies and some of life's biggest events. As part of our design, we've included some thought into how we could use the outdoor space that God has given us. We envision that at some time in the future, whether it be during this phase or a future phase, an outdoor wedding chapel where members from Stone's Throat Church and friends from the community might envision holding a beautiful outdoor wedding. So Stone's Throat Church, this is a huge project. It is gonna cost money, it's gonna cost time, it's gonna cost talent. Um, we knew as we bought this land that we weren't taking a traditional route as a church. And as a result, we're gonna be one of the first Protestant churches in the past 40 to 50 years to build a building in the town limits of Middletown. We're gonna be right where the people are. Right behind me is a huge theater going up where it's estimated that 400,000 people a year are going to walk through those doors. All around us are going to be restaurants, are going to be shops, we already have home improvement, giant stores, and so there's going to be tons of people who are going to see this building on this land every single day. 
and we want to reach those people for Jesus Christ. But I want to assure you as the lead pastor of Stones Throw Church that this building is not our mission. It is a means to the end. It's a means to reach people for Jesus. It's a means to invite people to come as they are so that we can introduce them to the gospel so that they might believe on the gospel of Jesus Christ so that the Holy Spirit might change their lives and so that they might be disciples who go out into the world making a big impact for Jesus in our community here and around the world. I hope that you'll be a part of that. We've got a great days ahead of us. I can't wait to see what God's going to do. I'm still at Stone's Throw because my heart is being changed by the gospel being preached. I'm still here because uh, Jesus is still renovating my heart and changing me. I'm still at Stone's Throw because I believe we have a, a really live, viable ministry. We're making an impact in the community of Middletown. I am still here because I believe God is using the people I thought I would be ministering to to actually minister to me, to help change me, refine me, and sanctify me. I'm still here because God is making a difference in my life through the church. And we stayed at Stone Throw because of the theological teaching and it just fitted our family. I stayed because God finally led me to a place where the gospel was alive. And I'm still here at Stone Throw because I just hear the Word of God preached and I can put Jesus in my life every day. I'm still here because I'm learning how to live and walk in the truth. And it's incredible. And I'm still here because through Pastor Dan's preaching and through the Holy Spirit, which is so present here, Jesus has really grabbed a hold of my heart and is not letting go. I'm still coming to Stone's Throw because I love it and I'm learning more and more every day and God is working in my life and I'm so grateful. I'm still here because they're still sharing the gospel and uh, it's, it's a blessing and a privilege to do it. I'm still at Stone's Throw because the Lord is definitely using me in a community group and serving just the body here and preaching the gospel. I stayed at Stone's Throw because I heard the gospel here and I was saved here. I stayed on the Stone's Throw because that's where Jesus wants me to be, wants me to worship and fellowship with other believers. And I'm still here now because I found a home in the church and with God and I'm learning more about Him every day.